introduce you guys to an inventor, would you please welcome my good friend, Alice Brooks, to the stage. She's going to teach us about something called Ruminate. Give it up for her. How you doing? Now, Ruminate. What does that word mean? Ruminate means to think about something, and in our case, it means to invent something. The way that we got started with Ruminate was um, I, uh, when I was eight years old, I asked my dad if Santa could bring me a Barbie that year, and yep. he said no, and instead I got my own saw. <laughs> you, got a, you got a saw instead of a Barbie. Yeah, and I used that to make a toy. What toys do you make with a saw? Well, I made a dinosaur, I made a doll, I made a house. So the idea was to get more kids making their own toys and designing their own things. So we made Ruminate so that kids can design their own toys. From a very young age, girls are told what they should be, sometimes directly and sometimes indirectly. Boys are three times more likely to be interested in science, technology, engineering, and math, and six times more likely to obtain a job in engineering. We're here to change that. We started Ruminate with one simple mission, to open up girls' minds and teach them that they can be anything they want to be. What started as a wired dollhouse has evolved into a complete construction set for girls. With modular building pieces, motors, lights, and more, girls can build anything they can imagine. So how do you do it? So you start by building. Um, so you can build um, a house or a school or a structure, and then you design furniture to go inside. And then the really cool thing is we have circuits. So you can plug in motors that make things spin and yeah. put in lights and actually have it all light up. And I'm sure with these kid inventors, they come up with ideas that we adults could never ever think of, right? Yeah, ever since we first started selling the sets, kids were coming up with ideas and never would have thought of, and that's just made the toys even cooler. Well, Alice asked me if I could pick four volunteers from the audience to help her build something cool. Who wants to help Alice build something cool and ruminate right here? Come on up, come on down. I'm gonna go on this side, this side right here. These two right here, come on down. How are you guys doing? What are your names really quick and how old are you? I'm Victoria and I'm 12. I'm Chloe and I'm 11. Okay. I'm Carly and I'm 14. I'm Ellen and I'm 14. Excellent, give them a round of applause everybody. They're gonna ruminate an invention, right? On your teams, you're gonna design your own schools and playgrounds, but they're gonna be way cooler than the schools that you go to now. So you're gonna think about what you would make better, what you would change, and part of the challenge is to use as many motors and lights as possible. So we want lots of things spinning, lots of things lighting up, and also just to make it really colorful, okay? That's cool, are you down for the challenge? Yeah. Yeah, you down for the challenge? Yeah. You think they're down? Give them a round of applause! But we're going to check back in with these guys to see the progress that they're making throughout the show. One more round of applause. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, guys, it's time to look in on Alice Brooks and our two teams that are ruminating some concoctions, some inventions. Let's see how they're doing. What if we hid the wires, like, out here, and we just, like, took this part, Carly, we put it in, like, here, like this? I wanted to, like, make it, like, really different. All right, it's that time to see what our kids and the challenge ruminated together. How are you guys doing? How was it? Was it good? It was like a lot of fun. Was it? It looks like a lot of work too, right? Yeah, it took um, a pretty long time, but it's a, it was a lot of fun making it. Oh, it looks so cool. Can you tell us about what happened while you were away? Well, as soon as we got back there, they all just started building right away, and they were coming up with all these new ideas that I never thought of doing. So why don't you walk us through what you created? Well, this is kind of like like clubs in school yeah. and then like this part down here is kind of um, like a classroom yeah and then all of this is like recess and like having fun what's going on here these kids are getting sick <laughs> um well these are rides for um the kids to associate with each other to um, oh, okay. gain friendship that's cool this ride looks like it's the best one yeah okay why don't you tell me what's going on in your world over here that you ruminated we called it the school of fish because there's like a pool where you can swim while learning um, on like a hot day. And then oh, there's another great. classroom and the spinning lunch table is one of them broke. <laughs> the spinning lunch table? <laughs> yeah. Don't have soup that day, I guess, right? <laughs> um, and then we have this ride over here, which is kind of like a ride, but it's also a way to like dry off from all the water that you were in. When you get out of the pool, you don't need a towel. You just sit in the chair and spin away. Yeah. That's brilliant. I want a spinning chair and I want to lay down for school. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Alice, thank you so much for bringing your creativity and rumination to our, our, our Wonderama family today. This is fantastic. Everybody's creative and everyone's an inventor. It's awesome.